welcome to Ricardo's Crossing. I want to do a little bit of something different for Healing Wednesday. And I want to look quite in depth, maybe a little bit about crystal healing. Some of the things that you can do for your own self-healing. I mean, I love helping others, assisting others with their own healing. But really, ultimately... To keep yourself in complete balance within oneself, it is about your own self-healing, which is so valuable, which is really important. So the first thing you want to do if you're starting out with crystals is get yourself some basic crystal healing books. There's thousands out there. There's Crystal Bible and other things like that. Secondhand bookshops. Um, this is where I got get my crystal books from. Um, I have done a book review on on the crystal books. I have talked about them before. There really is a great book. This one here is called Crystal Basics, a user-friendly guide to unlocking the power of crystals by Brenda Rosen. Okay, it's a really good book. Um, here you go. So you've got the front and you've got I mean, I paid like five dollars for it. I mean, you can't beat it, really. Five New Zealand that is. Five New Zealand dollars. Okay, so just to see, it's got little contents here, and the contents is introduction, working with crystal energy, crystals for well-being, crystals for your emotions, crystals for spiritual harmony, index and acknowledgement. So very, very split into very few. So a little bit of an introduction about the crystals about where they derive their power from, the way they're created, the ancient belief that crystals are the bones of Mother Earth is not far from scientific truth. Millions of years ago, super superheated gases and mineral solutions were first were forced upwards from the Earth's core towards the surface. As the molten rock gradually cooled, the mineral molecules formally are formed orderly patterns. The appearance of a crystal is affected in its mineral contents, the temperature and pressure at which it's formed, and its rate of cooling. And it goes on and on. And it shows you like this um, turquoise Kuan Yin. So you can have your crystals as a statue. For me, I've got a little scarab beetle. I mean, there's others as well, angels and Buddhas, and I mean, there's lots and lots of little ways that that have, um, crystals have been carved. There's people that do carving. I mean, beautiful, beautiful work. Um, there's a little clear quartz. We've got, oh, here's a good luck amulet with red jasper, which is kind of cool. Maybe I should show you a little bit closer to the thing. Let's hope that um, works. I'm just trying to work in here. Hopefully it'll, so you can sort of see. It gives you an idea anyway of, oh sorry, wrong way, and then you've got some other bits and pieces there as well. So it gives you an idea about how you can, working with crystal energy. So this is a really great little basic book in um, learning about the colour mean meanings of the colours, which is quite cool. The left and right thing a bit funny here. It feels like back to front and everything. Crystal casting sheets, uh, cheat sheet. There's your chakras. A little bit of information about that. I mean, and it's really good to have a basic book because it teaches you about cleansing and taking care. And remember that some crystals can't be put in water because of their soft, you know, their hardness level. And that's something else that you can explore a bit more, um, some of the softer crystals. And there's some crystals that are toxic that can't be put into water as well, like malachite you have to be careful about because once that becomes wet, it can become very toxic. And that's dangerous. Um, there are some crystals that will affect you more than others, um, like moldavite. Uh, um I can hold Moldavite and I start to, I can feel the energy flowing through that quite quickly. I do have to be careful at some times with some crystals. I do find my body reacts if I need, if my body needs something, it will react instantly to it. So this just goes through and it explains crystal therapy to lower a fever. 
um, Crystal Gargle for sore throat, digestive upsets. So this is a really great book, Immune System. It works with the crystals on a very, or oh, addictions. Uh, um, and then it's got a directory crystals for well-being. So this works on quite a deep level, working with the crystals. So I love that relaxation and stress relief. Um, relaxation web and then it can show you like a, a layout and how to lay the crystals on your body which is what I want to actually do is to show you some ways that you can use um, for the crystal healing um, you can put them in your water for a like I said for your gargle here's another great book crystals and crystal healing so this is another book that you could use Oops, something like that and it'll have much the same. This one's a bit more um, seven color chakra layout, calming the heart and mind, crystal healing. This uses a bit more grid work, which is sort of quite cool. Crystal pendulums, crystal wands, handheld crystal healing, meditation with crystals. So how to heal yourself and, and how to work with others. It's a bit hard to do it on, on my own, but that's what I'll be doing today. Intuitive healing layout. So you can either use your seven colors one to seven, laying on your chakras, or use an intuitive by just choosing the crystals that you feel drawn to using, um, how to energize. So there's a lot, of, a lot of information, and it takes time to go through and learn a little bit about each crystal, your birthstones and things like that. So what crystals? The other way to learn your crystals is maybe choose an oracle deck. Now, these are two. I've got another one coming, which I'm waiting for. I'm replacing some of my decks. So we've got Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmen Salerno. I mean, it's another great way to learn your, um, learn your crystals. And the other one is this um, Crystal Grid Oracle, which is a really cool Nicola McIntosh, which is a really cool deck to work with. So what I've done with Tony's decks, I mean, I love the um, the colours and the, this is one of my, I do like this deck, but the only problem is that there's no keywords on it, so I'm always, and I hate looking at the books all the time. So what I've done for learning, as you can just see just here, is I've added the, a few words to each card. So this is six. Um, Six Titan Serpentine. So you can use these cards for self healing as well. Oops, not very good with the left and right. I must move over a little bit. So there's your citrine. So, and with a few words here. So, this way is a great way to sort of learn the deck. Go through and choose some keywords, put them on little stickers, and that's a great way to sort of very quickly. So, you can learn to expand from those few meanings. Um, and you know that the crystals have a whole lot more than just these few meanings. This is just from the book. Um, there's so much more. Oops, one stick has actually fallen off, which I need to... Rep I mean, that's the only problem with these, unless you seal them. Um, they do actually fall off, but anyway, it's related quartz, with night. I just replace them as I need to. Clear quartz. So you can use the cards for self-healing as well, and I'll show you about that as well, how to do that. I mean, you could do that in meditation and reflection if you want to do it that way, and you can actually lay the cards on your body as well and use the energy to um, bring that in. It just brings in those thoughts. You know, it's an intention of choosing. You can either intuitively choose the cards to go for each chakra, or you can spe um, choose specific crystals to go to use on your body so that's something else you can do so you could use an oracle deck that's that one i'll just show you very quickly the crystal grid oracle if you hadn't already seen it on my channel at different times when i've done the um i have done a crystal um reading to show you what i do so there you go you've got the number you've got um the crystal and you've got the name of the crystal as well at the bottom. Okay, and then you've got it in a layout and a crystal. So this is another thing you could do is lay that onto your, if you wanted insight. 
Okay, that was your message. You decided you wanted to improve your insight. So what you could do is focus on that and lay that on your third eye. You could just lay that on your third eye as you lay down. You know, you could do communication and lay that on your throat chakra. So you could, these are all the things that you could do, uh, you know, with love. If you want to open your heart to new love, you could put that on your um, heart chakra. Okay, so that's the sort of things you can do. Knowledge, you could put that onto your crown chakra if you wanted to, or into your third eye. Up to where, wherever you felt drawn to do so. Clarity, is that third eye, crown above your head. So wherever you feel drawn, transformation, this could be about your third eye, or transition, sorry, or crown, or even above your chakras, if you work with more than seven. So that's another thing you could do, is lay the crystal cards, crystal grid cards, on your chakras or around your body and feel that energy. So there are some ideas for working with the cards to gain crystal healing. The other way you can get crystal healing is by the jewellery you wear. Um, for me, it can be my rings. Whoops, where are we? I've got an amethyst here. I have another amethyst with a turquoise which is great for when I do my cards because it allows me to communicate clearly and to see the truth of the connection of the cards and to be able to have some sort of a divine awareness or spiritual awareness as well when I'm working. I've actually got an angel wing here at the moment. I'm working a lot with that. The other thing is to have... Um, maybe a necklace which is in crystals so you might you might have something like um, a quite good to have a pale blue um, crystal on your neck if you're wanting to communicate clearly could be about divine awareness or about connecting to the angels maybe with the um, with the opalite or something like that okay and then I talked about um, having a statue. I've also got a little goddess that was made for me, and that's got a unikite in it. Um, I wonder if I can show you that a bit more closer. So, I mean, that was made for me. So that's about providing the, you know, about having the unification within myself as a woman. And this was actually given to me one of my, by one of my ex-partners, and I'm, I absolutely adore them. I've got two different goddess ones. And I just think they're just great for um, that whole connecting within oneself as a wholeness. Um, so I talked about the cards, books, the statues, things, jewellery. The other way is about working with pendulum. Now, you know, pendulums, crystal pendulums can come in all different shapes and sizes. And this is a macabre with the lapis lazuli. You'll find them with all sorts of crystals. And they will apply the healing that needs to be applied. So they can be worked with in that way. So if you take a deep breath and feel that healing energy coming through, it's just balancing and realigning everything that's going on. It's telling me that I'm a little bit out of sync, out of whack at the moment. So there we go. It's verified and it's complete. Just balances me out very, very quickly. I love that. That's the macabre in the um, lapis lazuli. But you can get many shapes, many styles, many crystals, different crystals. So you find whatever you feel drawn to. It's totally up to you what you feel you are drawn to. And you'll find the crystals will choose you. So it'll say to you, you know, speak. The other way is with a crystal wand. Sorry, I jumped then. I thought something had thought someone was behind me okay so the other way is like with a crystal what a crystal like this this sort of shape and that's great for sending the healing in or taking it out okay so you're either going to send that healing energy into you or you're actually t bringing something out of you so that's the other thing you have to intuitively feel 
okay? Some you might get a sense of a slightly double-ended, not perfect, but they're in the raw state, and you have that sort of feeling as you look at them that they can be either way. So that's sending energy out and bringing energy in. So they're a great one for circulating. So that's when you want to sort of do a bit of a, when you've got working with other crystals, these are great amplifiers, the clear quartz when you're working with other crystals as well. I like to put clear quartz in amongst, so I've got a few of these that I work when I'm doing a grid or I'm working in a circle or an infinity symbol, where these will join the crystals from either side and it'll keep the energy flow. So that's a great way as well. Just give you some ideas. Um, there's some of the crystals I have here like malachite and um, sodalite, howlet, selenite, it was the fluorite and the cherry thing. We've got amethyst, lepidolite, unikite, rose quartz. I mean, there's all sorts of crystals you can have. You can have the big raw quartz. I mean, that's a bit heavy to put on the body. I mean, there are some beautiful pieces, but when you're putting a lot of crystals on, you're, you're working with crystals and you're laying for some time, you can find it can be a bit much. Now, malachite, please do be careful um, with malachite. Oops, sorry. If you have some issues, and there are the books. I think one of the best books I've found, which I've kept, is the um, Melodies crystal book. Now, there's no images in it. So it's not too good if you don't know the names of some of the crystals. But it's got some fantastic information once you actually know some of the crystals, what you're working with. Um, if you find something that's a bit rare online, you can look it up. Um, really is one of one of the best books. Um, it's not an. I do need to maybe update it at some stage. Um, I don't know if there's an, another updated vis, uh, version or not. But this one is. I know it says update on it, but this was updated. Um, oh God, good question. Oh, here we are. Two, see, this was like 2013, 2005, 2008. 2000. Anyway, yeah, there's a 20th. This is like the 20th edition. <laughs> I mean, it's a really good book, and there's just so much great information in it, and oh, just amazing, amazing, amazing. So now that we've gone through a little bit about some of the ways to heal, some of the ways to work with the crystals, let me show you, say, you want to do your basic seven chakras. Okay, so we're going to do, now I'm going to lay down, so excuse the whole thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a crystal for grounding. Okay, you could use um, like a jasper, which I have over here, which actually is in the It's actually quite a good crystal. So maybe something like that. Then you've got your calcite, and you might do um, oh. might use the unikite. Or the next. Okay, so now I want heart, so I might go um, Aventurine, just because it's gentle. Um, blue lace agate for my throat. Third eye is um, satellite, and might do crown chakra with the selenite which would be quite cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie down and I'm going to put in the crystals on top so that you can see. Let me just turn this hair off. I'm getting awfully hot working with all these crystals. I do find my temperature rises slightly. So I'm going to lay down and you're going to basically see 
the crystals as I put them on the base chakra. And as if that's going to sit. Base, right. Then. So you're going to see the calcite in my navel. Then I've got the aventurine in my heart. Blue lace agate on my throat. And sodalite on my third eye. And the, the selenite I'm just going to put just above my crown chakra. So it's sitting right close to my head. And I'm going to just sit and lie for a few seconds just to show you. Taking a deep breath. And I'm focusing on each of the crystals. So I'm focusing on all the each of my chakras, if you like. I'm focusing on the base chakra and feeling that energy, feeling the flow of that crystal balancing out and realigning. Now I'm going to focus on my sacral chakra and I'm going to feel that in balance and realignment. Okay, I'm going to focus on my solar plexus and I feel the balancing and the realignment. Remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. That's it. And I'm going to focus on my heart chakra. I'm going to feel myself being brought back into balance. Okay, so I'm not giving myself too much away. And I'm not holding myself too tight. I'm allowing myself to just be in this moment. Be in the moment with the heart chakra. Feel that balance and realignment. Now there are some crystals that will balance and realign all of the chakras. Some of the crystals are specific to the chakras. It's all about your intention as well. You can set your intention because sometimes you need another aspect, a different crystal to work with your chakra. This is just one idea, one suggestion. Okay, I'm focused on my heart to bring it into balance. Okay, and I'm focusing on my throat chakra and I'm bringing that into balance, into realignment. So you're not speaking, over speaking, speaking too fast. You don't want to do that. You want to bring yourself into balance so that you can communicate clearly for others to understand you. That's the big thing, to actually have people understand you. Okay. Throat chakra so we can communicate clearly. Now the third eye, to open yourself up to spiritual awareness, to open your Self up to the truth and the facts of the situation so that you can have clarity within each moment as you move forward. It allows you to see the facts of a situation. So your, per your perception does not go about wonky because remember our perceptions are individualized. Taking a deep breath, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, at last, focus on your crown chakra. Now that allows you to open up to receive the messages of the divine awareness, from the, from the angels, angelic connection. But you don't want to always be open. Sometimes you need to sort of balance that a little bit. You don't want to be closed off completely. 
otherwise you lose that sense of trust within yourself. You know, you've got to hear the messages and things coming through to a degree, the warnings, things that are happening within you. Allow spirit to connect. It also allows the rest of your body to stay balanced. Nice deep breath in three nose. And I'm going to actually send out this healing energy to you. So even though I've been working on myself, it is an ability that everybody can receive this healing with love and light as I send you out the balanced energy. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, and receive the healing energy. That's it. Feel the healing. Feel the inner peace. As we lie here together, feeling ourselves being completely balanced and realigned, within our own emotions, our own physical and emotional sense, our perceptions, our thoughts, our ideas, our plans, allowing ourselves to stay grounded, to, to stay physical in the moment, allowing us to be, to take action when we need, Feel ourselves completely in balance and realignment. Okay. Now I've got to very slowly remove the crystals. I'll be very careful. So many times I'll put it up because I've forgotten a crystal and it's ended up flying somewhere. So let's have a look. And I know that I'm this. There it is. So I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So that's one way by using the chakra colours to work with the crystals. Oh my god, is that how long it's taken us to do this already? That time has gone so fast. So what I might do is very quickly show you working with some crystal cards. Um, actually, I'll use the Crystal Grid Oracle. What I'm going to do is just to choose, we're going to intuitively choose a card. So we'll just stop. and just shuffle. And I'm going to feel myself. I'm just going to fan the cards out. And I'm going to very quickly choose one just to lay on my body. What message do we need to have as a collective for our crystal healing today. Light bringer, candle quartz. So let me just show you this card very quickly. Okay, and it's candle quartz and it's a light bringer. So what I want you to do is take a really deep, deep breath. And I just want you to focus on this for a minute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, okay, so you've seen the card. I want you to now close your eyes and I want you to listen to this message that I'm going to read to you. Very, very quickly, I'm going to read this message. Now this is card number 28. Light bringer candle quartz. Light bringer soul purpose earth healing. Okay, candle quartz and quartz. Candle quartz is a light bringer. You have a real purpose and you are here to bring help, um, to help bring, heal the earth. At times you feel like your light is night shining bright, but 
At other times you feel so bright that you illuminate everything everywhere you go. The role of a light worker is at times very tough and sometimes we wonder why we ever decided to come to Earth. Keep your chin up and keep pointing forward. You may feel that you aren't really doing much, but know your purpose is great. Go forth knowing the very action, whether big or small, is making a difference. You are on the right track. Keep up the good work and continue to shine the light as others may find their way. Candle Quartz is a beautiful crystal to meditate with, to bring light to a situation. You may want it to see into the darkness places of yourself. So sit with it and find the darkness that you have within yourself so that you can find the light. So, so you can find your soul purpose to find more clarity on your current life path. It's a very gentle quartz when used this way. If you can't find your own light, draw on the qualities of this card. You can also use candle quartz to call on your guides and your totem animals. They are present on your journey and will always remind you that you are not alone. Call on candle quartz when you need some help. Lightening the way for not only yourself, but for others as well. So what you can do with your crystal card that you have is take it, lie down, and very gently just place it. So you could place it on your heart. Leave it on your heart chakra. Take a deep breath and invoke the qualities of the candle quartz and quartz. And finding your, your soul purpose. You want to open your heart to finding your soul purpose. So you take a nice deep breath. In through your nose, out through the mouth. Feel yourself like opening up. Trust the messages that you get, any sensations, any thoughts, any feelings, any words. If you get voices, noises, if you get a feeling or a sensation, you get images like pictures or like a movie, trust in those that you get. And when you've finished, and you've done what you need to do and you feel like you've got the message that you need, you've got the balance, you're feeling good within yourself, take a deep breath. Thank you, Spirit Guide, thank the angels, the archangels, whoever came through for you with the love and light. Thank them for the message. And when you're ready, give yourself a few minutes few seconds to relax and just be with it, sit with it if you like, just lie with it, just feel that energy and when you're ready, sit up slowly and take a breath and there you are, that's crystal healing, it's one way to work with a range of crystals and self-healing. So if you've got a crystal deck or you've got some crystals, don't forget to work with the crystals for yourself. Take care and blessed be for Wednesday Healing with Hecate's Crossing. Look forward to seeing you next week with another healing session.